Hey guys, it's Hipper it, guess what? I'm back with another one. Let's get to it! <laughs> it's more than a statement, it's a way of life. Celebration. The Mr. Jason talking. <laughs> Alright, guys, um, I am back with the patrons pick. This happens to be by Craig and uh the pick is a Kylie Minogue and Molly. I'm guessing Molly is Molly Meldrum interview. All right, let's check it out. I think I have a visitor. We've long been good mates. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Australia. Hey, <laughs> how are you? Oh, wow. Look at Molly. Shout out to my boy Molly. The last time I seen Molly, for those of you guys who don't know, I'm taking this Madonna journey. And uh, the last time I seen Molly, I believe it was like 1989. All right, anyway, let's go. She's one of the warmest and funniest people. Still I wearing hats. Straight or gay? Gay. This is Molly's exclusive, and there's only one person in Australia who can get this kind of stuff. That's Mr. Meldrum. I should be so lucky. No. Yes, I've known Kylie a long, long time, but I've never known her like this. Dang, Kylie crying? Let's keep watching what's going on. All right, um, let's on a cheerio note, right? Try it, Molly. <laughs> Help me out here. Yeah, all right. We're on the first leg of her world tour. It's freezing, but in Scandinavia, Kylie's hot. It's a lot of love in a cold climate. Her concerts are sold out. This is one woman who knows how to put on a show. Okay, that's it. Opening now! This is the walk. I always say it, she is so tiny, okay? This is the walk we've been waiting for. The walk to the stage. Yeah. Have a good one! Yeah. It's amazing, you can't buy it, you can't bottle it, you can't create it. It's, it's just brilliant. What a way she's come. Longevity is just extraordinary. I mean, you know, in this business, they come and go, come and go, you know? But you, even above Madonna, seem to have an amazing way of reinventing yourself. I remember being asked about reinvention, reinvention, reinvention for so many years. Mm. And I always found it kind of a difficult question because it's something that came very naturally to me. Mm -hmm. And it was as much about growth and change as opposed to I'm going to reinvent myself and go from black to white. Yeah. I think if you're not being inspired by things around you, yeah. not aware of what's been before, of what's coming up, um, isn't that called dead? So that's what keeps you going all the time? It's just something that, that, um, that I'm always curious about. I'm, I'm inquisitive about yeah. just about everything. All right, so this is actually, I feel like, the first time I actually really heard Kylie Minogue talk um, in the interview setting. And so far, I like what I'm hearing. Uh, she's very quick, very um, astute, um, smart, right? a little wit coming through. What year is this? Shut the comments down below. Molly, come through. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. It's the week before the tour, and rehearsals were in full swing. Oh my god! It's remarkable to see the effort that's put in. It's unbelievable. We have to waterproof Molly's hat. <laughs> and yes, the water works. The $25 million stage production is named after Aphrodite, goddess of love and beauty. For Kylie, nice. a cancer survivor, it's a celebration of life. Now, being with you the other night in the dressing room afterwards, you were, you know, happy and, you know, I mean, full of life and everything like that. Mm. I remember when you had cancer mm. um, and I was in the dressing room with you and you were sitting next to me and sort of hugging me and you were so frail and... I said, oh, my God, is she ever going to get through this, you know? Was it hard back then? I don't know how I did it myself, actually, but um, I was determined and it was an important part of my recovery. And by the end of this month, I will... Five years. 
I will reach my five-year mark. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Was it scary for you in parts? I mean, like, mm-hmm. did you doubt, am I going to get through this? Because uh, you handled it so bravely. I mean, it was just astonishing, you know? Um, you might have seen the bravery. I, I don't think the public really saw... Well, I didn't, you know, I, I stayed indoors mm. and, and it was my family who supported me through really rotten, dark moments. Mm. Um, but, yeah. Kylie was diagnosed with breast cancer in May 2005. She was admitted to hospital in Melbourne for surgery and chemotherapy. The first time you came out after that, you visited the children's ward, the cancer ward, you know? Mm-hmm. Gave them the great delight. Did that give you something? It did. I remember one moment there where I was talking to some parents across the other side of a bed and, mm. and so their child was there. And uh, I was saying the things that I would normally say in that situation, just making conversation with the child, with the parents, giving them some support as well. And then they, they really caught me off guard and they just eyeballed me and said, "And how are you? And we hope you get through it. And I was like, oh. The other thing during that time is that this must be very pleasing, that you made a lot of people, a lot of girls go out and have tests and all of that, you know? And... Wow. Um, again, I don't know much about Kylie's life. Shout out to Kylie, number one, for being a breast cancer survivor. Um, that is definitely um, something. But it's, it's interesting. Uh, it seems like she was just so much... I want to almost say in this experience that she's talking about, in character of being Kylie Minogue, the star, like, okay, boom, let me just... And it, it's almost like it was almost just automatic for her to just turn on and be like, yeah, okay, boom, giving them words of encouragement. And it shocked her so much to the point where even years later at this interview, she's crying about it when somebody really pulled up and asked her, like, what about you, Kylie? You know, like, Kylie, the woman, you know, not Kylie, the star. So... It's uh, very humbling, right? Um, okay. Right. And let me just tell you, the reason that that gets me is... And one of the... I think the greatest part of um, of my job and what I do is the humanity of it. And, and there's certain moments where that really cuts through. All right. Um, let's on a cheery note, right? Try, Molly. <laughs> Help me out here. Yeah, all right. I'm now crying. All right. So, I'm sorry, but I hadn't... You can keep rolling. I hadn't really... I, I'm so go, go, go. I hadn't really thought about that and the moment that I was telling you about was just such a it, it just stopped me in my tracks and I hadn't thought about that since then okay. so it got me going I mean you've always been very positive I mean I know sort of where it comes from but I'm going to ask you the question because I know your family and all that mm. where does it come from? Home Yeah? Yeah Definitely I think I was raised without any put-downs, without ever hearing anyone, or, you know, like my parents say, you can't do this, you can't do that. We were just encouraged to do what we loved. And it's funny how that is written quite early on in, in our lives. It's over 23 years since you famously got married on screen. Let's face it, I mean, you... Uh-huh. When I found out Kylie was like this kind of child, teenage star, I was shook like, what? <laughs> or like a soap opera or something, that's crazy. Television yours was the most famous wedding of all, you know, in Australia and England, you know? And that was a long time ago, you know? And that was a, a make-believe wedding, right? Yeah. Um, 
I was, if, if, if you want to send my PA over the edge, ask her if she thinks I'm going to get married one day. It's just like, she goes, I couldn't, I, no, I couldn't cope. Which begs me, you know, with Andreas there, you know? Well, it's... it's, it's, it's it a, might happen. Right, okay. Who knows? All right. Well, yeah. He's a natural with children. Let's put it down. I way. noticed that, you know. <laughs> I also know that, that you're very, very wonderful with kids, you know, mm. and clucky. If, if you do get married, would you have children, yeah? Um, I always said for, from a long... Uh, ages ago, I remember being asked about that, and I said, I imagine myself having children before getting married. Right. Or more so than, than getting married. Questions, drop the comments down below. So, uh, has Kylie ever been married? Number one, and number two, does Kylie have kids? All right, drop the comments down below. Being married. Mm -hmm. Um, and now we'll, well, we'll just have to see. I'm not sure if that's part of my future. Well, let's put it this way I mean, like, if Elton can become a dad, anyway. <laughs> hey, there's, there's that's pretty cool, isn't it? More than one way to skin, one way to skin a cat. There is. Um, and I think it's, it's important for um, for women to know that there are other options available, and um, whatever means you you use to have a family, if that's your desire, then go for it. All right, you say with the Aphrodite, this amazing concert, right? That you're very happy in your life now. <clears throat> yeah. Is that true? Yeah, I feel very. Um, Content. I'm still, still uh, challenged, but content with those challenges. Right. Mm. I can't even imagine what you'll be doing in 20 years' time, uh, except that um, I know that you'll still be a, a light, a star in the sky, you know, and I'm mm. so proud to know you and I'm so proud that you've given us the access to this and the tour and on one of the most exciting stage shows. Well, as... coming from you, Molly, you've seen them all, so if I can still excite you and, 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 and leave you speechless just for a moment <laughs> well, I ask is you. something. Celestial, what is that? That's for you. I found this bottle Is that of for champagne. making me cry? Yeah, it's for you. All right. Oh, my goodness. How beautiful is that? Mwah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh. interview uh gave me a, a glimpse of kylie minogue as i said i've never heard kylie talk before uh so this is very interesting to see uh drop the comments down below uh the first time you saw this interview uh what was your take from it um also if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are subscribed make sure you join the channel and if you'd like for me to get to some of your choosing what to do hit me up on patreon the link is below all right guys i'll see you next time